Okay, XR3 fitting to flash shield tubing connection. What we're going to do is cut the tube. We're going to use the tubing cutter. It has a wheel in it intended to cut steel tube. Bring the cutter down. As soon as it starts to get tight, first revolution, I'm really only cutting the jacket. We just give it a little turn and a couple revolutions. Keep doing that. If the tube doesn't pop free, like this, all you need to do is just wiggle it on itself and it'll pop right clean. Nice clean cut. Next step is going to be to use the jacket stripping tool. The jacket stripping tool, it's got a latch on it that holds it closed. We just simply open that up and lock it back. It has side one and side two, and side two is serrated so you always know where you're at. When you open it up, there's a dead end stop in there for the tube. We insert the tube to the dead end stop, close the jacket stripping tool around the pipe and rotate it. When we do that, we now need to relieve pressure off the tool as we pull it off because that blade is in the valley. So we relieve the pressure, pull it straight off, and we're cut to the second valley back. We just open up the tool, take the debris, knock it out of the tool, turn it around to side two. Again, there's the dead end stop. Insert the pipe, close the tool. Again, we're rotating it. This time though, we don't need to relieve any pressure because we're only stripping the top jacket. So we can keep pressure on the cutter, just pull it straight off, and we've exposed the metal mesh. Disassemble the fitting. We slide the nut up the pipe. Pull the bushings out. Break the bushings apart. We put the bushing on the tube with one corrugation exposed beyond the bottom of the bushing. You can see the second ridge within the bushing is on the mesh and the back ridge of the bushing is actually grabbing the jacket. Pinch the bushing halves together, simply insert them into the fitting body, let the nut come down, tighten it up.